joining me here today. It's one of the most hyped contenders in the UFC strawweight division. Of course, I'm talking about Yan Xiaonan, set to fight at UFC 272 against Marina Rodriguez, joined us kindly by our translator as well. How's everybody doing today? Yeah, I'm doing very well. Today is Saturday, so I have a rest day today. Uh, I assume right now you're full on in training camp and everything. Where is uh, the majority of the training camp in terms of what country? Where are you going to be the most for this camp? I'm currently at uh, Sacramento, California now, and training at uh, Team Alpha Male with uh, Uriah Faber and uh, another Chinese UFC fighter, Song Adong. Yeah. So, what led you to training at uh, Sacramento with the guys like uh, Uriah Faber? Was it just Song Yadong? Like, what, what was it that led you specifically to this camp? So, he was asking, what was the reason you chose to come to Faber? Was it because Song Yadong was there and he introduced you to him, or was there some other reason? 对，主要就是舒亚东在这，还有就是那个我在北京站的时候见过飞波一次，而且我也看到舒亚东提高的很快，所以我就来这里了。Yeah, the major major reason is Shu Yadong is here. He's been trained here for a very long time, and I saw his improvement since he started training at Team Alpha Male. So I think it's going to be a good choice. And another reason is I met you real Faber was. Uh, at UFC Beijing, so we know each other before. So yeah, that's why I choose Team Alpha Male. Uh, what was it like meeting Uriah Faber for the first time? We know he's got the the joke about the California kid looks like a skateboarder, a surfer. What what was it like meeting Uriah Faber the first time? Ah, he said so. So, when you first met Beijing, meet Uriah Faber, what was it like? What was your first impression of him? Ah, they said he was very talented. He was very famous. I wanted to take a picture with him. Yeah, it was said he's a Hall of Famer and uh, great UFC fighter, so I just want to get a, take a picture with him. All right, uh, let's talk about, before we get to this fight, though, uh, it's been a long time since we've seen you in the cage. It's going to be about a year coming up soon in a couple of months. What, what's been going on during this time off? So, in the last time, I'm going to talk about the last time. So, I'm going to talk about the last time. So, I'm going to talk about the last time. So, I'm going to talk about the last time. So, I'm going to talk about the last time. So, I'm going to talk about the last time. So, I'm going to 呃，上一场比赛结束之后，我是回到了中国，在中国需要隔离二十一天，隔离完了之后在家里休整了一段时间，嗯，也有也有训练嘛，但不是很系统。后来九月份的时候，我就马上回美国开始训练，到现在。嗯、mm, ，I went back China right after my last fight, and、uh, then twenty one days quarantine, and I have a break, spend some time with my family. And trained a little bit there, and then September last year, I I came back to the U.S. and、uh, start training again. So I, I do have to ask, with with it that you know we're doing this interview through a translator, but how has it been, you know, being in the United States and not quite speaking English? I assume that's got to have a ton of challenges. So he said, ah, 就是你在问在美国训练的一些感受如何，尤其是就是语言还不是很通的情况下，会有一些挑战或者困难吗？我觉得还好，就是教练会说一些训练上的，我能听懂。而且有的时候教练就是时间长了会培养一些默契，他一个手势一个眼神，我就知道他让我做什么。Yeah, it, it's okay. I can understand the training English. Yeah, the training things I can understand them all. And uh, uh, while I'm training longer and longer together with、uh, the coach coaches here, we have we established the chemistry. Chemistry between each other, so I know what they mean, and they know how to make me understand what they are saying. So yeah, it's it's okay. Well, let's talk about this fight a little bit. Obviously, Marina Rodriguez. A lot of people expect this to be a number one contender's bout and everything. What was your reaction when the UFC came to you and said, you know, this was the next fight? So yeah, 那说回这场下一场比赛，那么这个罗德里格斯也是被人很看好，说也可可能成为这个冠军挑战者。那你当你知道要跟他打的时候。第一反应感想是什么？嗯，第一反应就是开心嘛，就是又可以打比赛了，而且这个对手还很不错，肯定会接下一场比赛
Yeah, my first reaction when I heard I got to fight uh, Marina Rodriguez is I'm very happy because I got a new fight with a uh, high ranking opponent. And uh, yeah, so I'm very excited about this fight. So the big thing about Marina Rodriguez's style is people know her mostly for her Muay Thai, her stand-up game. Does that make it more fun preparing for a fight like that, knowing that you know you probably don't have to worry about the wrestling as much as some other fights? So from this technical style of fighting, like Rodrigo is that kind of strength, too strong. So it's a very fun fight for you. You're very happy because you don't have to worry about sleeping too much. You can just relax and fight. I think she's not bad. 他整体都不错，他不光是一个战力选手，我看他的呢地面技术也也很好，就经验也很多，嗯，就是也会，就是说我们两个都是战力的嘛，就会很少的考虑到摔跤和地面吧，就是能更放得放得开，就是拼战力嘛。嗯、um, ，I think she is good on striking for sure, but you cannot think she is only a striker. So she is a pretty well-rounded fighter. So you need Still need to worry about like the ground game, but but of course she is not a wrestler like、uh, Carla or some wrestler else. But so yeah, maybe we can just、uh, show our best on the striking games. That, does that make you think like there's a potential for a bonus in this fight? So no, you're very exciting. She's very exciting. Like, do do you think like this is a bonus worthy fight just when you hear about the matchup? So you think you two, because you are also this kind of fighting style, fighting very exciting style. She is also. So. 你觉得这会是一场能拿到花红的比赛？我觉得会，如果打满三回合很精彩，肯定会。I think so. Yeah, if we fight the full three rounds, a very close fight, very exciting fight. Yeah, probably. Uh, we we all can get the the, the bonus. What's the pressure like heading into this fight? If there's any, every fighter is different, obviously. But for you, you're coming off of your first loss in a very very long time. This could be potentially the winner fights for the belt. What's the pressure like heading into this fight? 所以，对于你来说，这场比赛你面临的压力是什么？因为他说每个人其实比赛前的压力也不同。那像你可能上一场失利，然后这场比赛呢又有可能赢了之后挑战冠军。所以，具体对你来说，这个比赛的压力是什么？我觉得压力就是想展示，就是最近我的进步吧，就希望能展示到我已经进步了，已经很大一块了。上一次就没有展示到我的进步，这次希望能展示到。So the pressure is I want to show my improvement. So la my last fight, I I didn't get a, the opportunity to show myself fully show myself. So this time I want to show everybody my improvement. So I do want to talk about the last fight a little bit. Like I mentioned earlier, first loss in what was a very long time.、Uh, how how did you sort of recover from that loss mentally? Because we know a lot of fighters they they deal with that differently. So yeah, 那就说到上一场比赛，那么上一场比赛也是。你近十年来的首次失利，那么失利过后你是怎么从中调整恢复过来的呢？我觉得当时失利了是自己接受不了的，就是就觉得哎怎么就输了呢？完了后来从时间嘛，我觉得时间慢慢会抚平一些伤，就慢慢也也去接受自己失败了，而且也希望自己在失败中找了一些教训，完了自己慢慢成长。Yeah, I, I I couldn't accept the, the lose、uh, right after the the fight. You know, I asked myself every day, just why why I lose, why I lose. But you know, time can heal everything. So since the time goes by, I I feel better, and I when I reach back this fight, okay, I see what I can learn from that. I got some lessons from that. With that being said, was it tough to、uh, you know sort of move on from it and just not think about it every day? Because it sounds like you may have you know gotten a little bit obsessed, like thinking about this fight often. So, for you, it's a very difficult thing. That is, to say, to try to make sure to not think about the failure, to not be so absorbed in the failure, to let your heart go out. Is this a very difficult thing? I think it's very difficult. Because after the loss, I lost for a couple of days and couldn't sleep. Because 你一闭上眼睛就在就是比赛的那个画面，就是你输那个画面，还有你要面对家人啊、朋友还有教练，我觉得是挺难的。但是现在觉得很不难了，但应该当时是很难的。Yeah, it was pretty difficult, pretty hard. So I think uh the week after the fight, I couldn't sleep very well. Each time when I closed my eyes, I just see the 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 image. I lose the fight. So yeah, and it's hard to. Face my family, my coaches, my teammates. So now, if we talk about that moment right now, it's okay, not a big deal. But at that moment, 
is very strong for me. I'm interested about this because I'm interested in how fighters think and stuff like that. You mentioned time helped heal, but what what was it really that sort of helped you move on from that? Was it getting a new fight? Like what was kind of the key to that? So yeah, that you also mentioned, is that through time, time slowly passes, it will make your mood better. So what was the specific thing or event that made you feel like your mood was better? For example, you had a new fight, or you got 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 a 我觉得是卡拉做了一个赛后采访，我朋友告诉我的。他说他为了战胜我，他每天多加了一次训练，就多练了一些摔跤。后来我觉得他付出的比我多，我就输了也会心服口服吧。Yeah, I think the key point is when I one of my friends sent me a the post interview of Carla Espasa. She said to prepare this fight. Uh, she trained extremely hard, even one more session every day than before. So I think she worked harder than me. So I think okay, that I, I lose, that makes sense. So okay, that make me just back to training. So with that being said, are you training harder in this training camp? As a result, like you think no one's gonna outwork you again? Like how how has that changed this training camp? So he said, "You this time, will be even more hard. Train harder, be more disciplined, and just make yourself feel better." 全力以赴。对我上一次我也是全力以赴，只不过就是备战的时候方向是错的。完了这一次的话，我调整了一些，我会牺牲所有人告诉我的一些，所有人给我提的意见嘛，就希望自己的方向不是错的。I I'm always training like one hundred percent, two hundred percent, even my last fight camp. But I think the mistake I made in my last training fight camp is the direction. Of how to prepare that fight, we 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 had some mistake. So this time, I still train very very hard as usual, but I just learn and、uh, learn more advice from other people's, take more advice from other people's. I think that will help me. All right, before we get back to your fight with Rodriguez, I know my bosses would be very mad at me if I didn't ask you about this person. But you want to use Jay Checks around? She's kind of in a weird position, only wants the big fights. You're very close to the title. What are your thoughts on kind of her situation and everything that's going on? 所以，那就是除了就是罗德里格斯，那在接这场比赛之前，呃，你有想过，比如打别人吗？比如说乔安娜呀、啊、什么的，包括很多人，其实我他们其实他也在一个很微妙的环，就是的境地吧，就是他其实很长时间没有打比赛，但是一回来就有可能很接近冠军这个头衔。就你有想过打他吗？嗯，想过，我会就是没有接到比赛之前，我会幻想就是跟我前面的还有后面的选手各个选手去打这场比赛。Yeah, before I I was noticed I gotta fight Rodriguez. I I had my my list, of the name who I I want to fight, just the top ranked fighters who, uh, higher than me or below me. So Joanna is one of of them. Yeah, I want to fight her. Do you think the fight could still happen, or is this a case where one of you has to become champion before we potentially see that one? So, then you think you fight with her is possible, or is it just? 你要打他，需要等到比如说有一天你拿到冠军了之后才能够去跟他打。嗯，就得看 UFC 安排吧。而且我觉得，我要是跟他打的话，我也很高兴，因为他战力很强嘛。我的战力也不错。Yeah, it depends on UFC's decision. But I, I was happy if I got a chance to fight against Joanna. She is a amazing striker, and I'm a good at striking as well. So it's gonna be a good fight. All right, getting back to this fight with Marina Rodriguez, is it fair to say that the winner in this fight gets the next title shot? So, then, back to the next fight with Rodriguez. That can be understood as the winner of this fight will become the next champion of the UFC. Do you think? I think so. I think it's a matter of taste. If we have a very exciting fight and one of them loses, I think the UFC will give him this chance. I think maybe. It still depends on the UFC, but if we can fight very It's an exciting fight. Maybe UFC will give the the winner of this fight a chance to challenge with the belt. All right, one last question. It's an easy one. It's not a very fun one, but how do you see yourself getting a win at UFC 272? So, the last question is: Do you think this fight, if you win, you will win? Um, strength. My strong point is strength. I will outstrike her when on. Striking, so that is what I really good at. So I think if I can win over her, it should be on strike.
Oh, that's going to be such an exciting fight. Uh, Leo, thank you so much for translating. I appreciate it. I know how hard it is to do it. Jan, thanks so much for the time. I really appreciate it. Uh, so